Solid Edge Modular Plant Design Solutions speed the creation of intelligent PNID schematics and 3D piping models, ensuring that they are designed right the first time, every time. Notice the modular plant design tools provide an engineer quick access to tools for piping, PNID schematics, and the creation of isometrics. We begin this demonstration with a 3D assembly of a plant design. To access the related 2D PNID schematic, simply select to open it as well as the handy to-do list from within the piping dialog. The to-do list provides valuable feedback on what tasks need to be completed. The to-do list is configurable, for example, changed from a single list of components or filtered by component type, making it easy to find the things you're looking for. More importantly, it supports cross-highlighting in both environments. Selecting an object will highlight it in both the 3D model and 2D P and ID. For now, let's focus on the 2D P and ID schematic of our piping system. A nice feature of Solid Edge P and ID is the built-in report capability, so it's easy to keep up with all the information, such as component lists and diagrams. Now, adding components to the design is made easy by leveraging the built-in database, which is preloaded with all the required standards for PNID creation and which supports strict governing requirements for plant design. Unique tag numbers can be used to fully define any components in the diagram, as well as any other characteristics you may want to add. Adding a pipeline is also a simple task. First, you create the 2D representation of where the pipe will reside. In our example, a pipe from the tank to the pump needs to be drawn. Now once created, the pipe spec and size can be defined. Now one advantage is this information is extracted from the database, taking all the guesswork out. All common standards are supported. Of course, after placement, the component tag can be moved and rotated to help create the schematic you're looking for. When placing components on the pipeline, such as this valve, an option to place from specification ensures we get the right size. Also, they rotate automatically to correct direction one, uh, once placed. And of course, again, any fine tuning can be done uh, to the schematic very, very quickly. Now, as mentioned earlier, to communicate manufacturing information to downstream systems, lists and reports can be automatically generated from the drawing. This could be a bill of materials, which sums up all identical components by its article number, or a component list, which analyzes components by tag numbers. Also, to aid in the process, Intelligent PDFs can be created. This particular uh, PDF includes the cover and index page, which you'll see here, along with the rest of the information created. Along with the visible geometry, also the component properties are communicated in the PDF. Now that the PNID has been changed, we can go back to the 3D Solid Edge environment. The to-do list illustrates the changes uh, that need to be implemented in the model based on the updates to the PNID diagram. Here we're simply refreshing the to-do list. And any changes that were made in PNID are going to be highlighted in our list in, a, in the color of orange, as you can see. Now the first step here is to get the new pump placed into the solid edge assembly. 3D parts are placed from the standard parts library and component properties from the PNID are automatically assigned. For this pump, we can simply select graphically where we want to place it 
using standard Solid Edge assembly tools. Another great feature is the ability to show the from and two points of a defined piping path. Clearly identifying these points makes it easy to define the appropriate 3D pipeline path to ensure it avoids any clashes with other parts. These points can easily be turned on and off at any time from the to-do list. Now once a path location is understood, it's time to create the path. First, create a subassembly um, to store the piping information. After in place activating into the new subassembly just created, Solid Edge's express route will help us quickly create the desired pipe path from the same two ports highlighted earlier. Also, Path Express can be used to create the actual path between the two connection points. Here we're just defining those uh, to and from points. One advantage to Path Express is it gives the user quick select options to get the most efficient path for the pipe route. So you see here after the path is created, it's as easy as toggling through the different path options and selecting the most effective one. Now that the path is created, the to-do list makes it easy to assign all relevant information from the PNID to the pipeline sketch. Simply use the Assign option, then select the path, and Solid Edge will automatically pull information from PNID to create the correct pipes. And here you can see it generating those pipes. Again, using this technique takes all the guesswork out of the equation. And you can see that the pipes have been created exactly as we envisioned them to be. Now the final step is to add the valve that was defined in PNID. And of course, it's the same process as when the pump was placed. The valve information gets extracted from PNID. The correct valve is selected from the 3D standard parts library, so we only need to place it into the assembly. And when placing components in the assembly, you still use standard assembly placement tools. So no need to learn anything new to do this. Now once the valve has been placed, as you can see here, we simply need to recalculate the pipe route, which it uh, automatically adjusts the pipes and places any additional flanges and gaskets as required. And you can see Solid Edge is regenerating the pipes and adding a new flange. Also notice the to-do list shows all components up to date. Everything's green. The final step in our demonstration is isometric drawings. Isometric drawings of the 3D pipelines can be quickly and easily created. For example, we'll focus on the pipeline that we just created. From the modular plant design toolbar, the isometric command is started. It will gather all the necessary information, which is automatically taken from the 3D pipelines just created and is used for generating the isometric drawing. The interface offers uh, several different options, but the final result in this particular case is a solid edge draft file that contains all the appropriate information required for the manufacturing of this pipeline. So all we have to do is go to that um, area where those draft files exist and open them up to take a look. So there you have it, 
Solid Edge Modular Plant Design Solutions to help you speed up the creation of intelligent PNID schematics and 3D piping models.